The PDPP candidate for Rimos, the governorship post, Samuel Anyao, has pledged to grant amnesty to gunmen causing insecurity if elected. This statement was made during a meeting with the campaigns. Our correspondent followed in this report. Samuel Anyao, the People's Democratic Party candidate for the November 11 governorship election, has pledged amnesty to gunmen in Imo State if elected. This decision was made during a meeting with the campaigns from various political parties aiming to ensure Imo State chartered equity and favor Oweri Zone stances. The campaign praised Anyao and his running mate, James Onyeri, for that trustworthiness. That the man who the cap speaks, the man who the charter for equity favors in the state, is no other person so that the man that has capacity, the man that has got and can reach, the man that has a very Today, we have uh, the Labour Party, the ABGA, uh, YPP, and other political parties coming today to join PDP. As I speak, as we speak today in Imo State, PDP is the only party that people are looking up to to change Imo State and make Imo safe again. Samuel Ayahu, upon receiving the campaigns, pledged to promote good governance and democracy for the state's people. He promised other states to the rise in the state and to conduct local government elections within six months of his election. Within six months in office, I will conduct local government elections. I will ensure that all due process, all due process will be taken into consideration. We don't use hard time box to stop insecurity. We should use the stick and the carrot. And I can show you that by the time we come into power, we are going to grant amnesty brothers and sisters so that they can drop their arms. The that the was divinely orchestrated. Yes, sir. Yes. There is nothing that can ever happen without the sovereign permission of God. Even if you are in simply to fulfill scripture, today in Imo State, the scripture is fulfilled. Other areas that would get urgent attention, according to Samuel Ayahu, include health and education, as he vows to declare a state of emergency in both sectors. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.